Hi everyone, I am Francesco Piemontesi, I'm a Swiss pianist and uh, I'm here in Seoul, actually I just arrived from the airport to play with the SPO and Thierry Fischer Brahms' first piano concerto. I'm actually so looking forward to this week because I had a wonderful experience with the orchestra a couple of years ago playing Strauss Burlesque and the Variation Symphonique by César Franck. I've known Thierry Fischer for such a long time, so we both come from Switzerland We've done many concerts together. We've done recordings with Orchestra Suisse Romand. We've played in in uh, Switzerland. We've played in the United Kingdom, in America, in South America. So it's always a joy to share the stage with him. And I also very much like uh, sonority and the quality of the playing of the SPO. And every time that I'm here, I, I wonder how you make it that so many young people actually come to the concert. This is really, really, really beautiful to see. And it's not a very common thing. So keep it that way because it's very important. Yes, yeah, so the work I will be playing, it's Brahms' first piano concerto, which is, I would say, my favorite concerto. It's been my favorite concerto for such a long time. It's difficult to summarize in a few sentences uh, what this piece is about, but there are several aspects which, which I like about it. I mean, first of all, of course, this melodic and harmonic genius, then the control of the form. I mean, managed to keep together a form which I think in the first movement is about 23 or 24 minutes of length and everything fills in such an organic way. Um, and at the same time, what is so beautiful is the symphonic scope of the piece. So. On one hand, you feel that the piano is, is kind of integrated in, into the orchestra, although the, the piano part is actually very virtuosic, but you never feel it that way. You feel that you are part of a bigger um, scope, of a bigger symphony. And at the same time, some of the writing is also very chamber music-like. So for instance, uh, the beginning of second movement, which then will be taken over by the orchestra, then you answer something, then the orchestra answers again. So it's a kind of maybe the largest chamber music that I've ever played in my life, because instead of playing with three, four or five people, you're here with 80 or 100 people on stage. 